I want to ask you about the behavior because a mm-hmm. lot of parents have this conflict is maybe they had a, a you know strict parent and critical parent and they don't want to be that to the child so they're kind of worried about setting boundaries or setting structure and you had always said that actually kids crave that structure and we, we they feel like they're going to hurt them if they send them to the room or put, give them a time out or tell yeah. them they can't have something yeah because uh, w- if you think about well what does parenting do and and what does uh socialization do it, it is uh uh information that the child needs to to feel like they can go out into the world and and predict what's going to happen mm-hmm. to some extent right there's always a chance element so the discipline is really about preparing them f- to be in the world yes versus you just can't tolerate their screaming <laughs> like it, it's like more like the world's not going to tolerate that either that's that's right and, and just so just basic uh, setting limits a lot of parents don't know how to do it because maybe they grew up in a household where boundaries were not really discussed or overly uh, kind of uh, held well for me boundaries were very very strict or very strict and i was always afraid like even with my clients I'd, in the beginning i'd be afraid of i don't want to be like my father like this is the way it is and and like feel that i know how it felt about being imposed with all those boundaries yeah so but i i also know that in a way um we always had to be on time like we weren't allowed to be a minute late and so that it helped me be punctual, respectful of people's time. I mean, all these things and responsible that I, re- I resented it as a kid, you know, like, ah, like, just give me a break. But it, in the end, I feel so grateful for learning, you know, having that as an adult. I was like, oh, thank I, I got really good guidelines to behave in the world. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think that's where a lot of parents uh, get it wrong is that uh, the they're not clear on what are the boundaries. So they might communicate to the child, okay, I want you to behave. Uh, for That doesn't mean anything to the child except, you know, behavior just means emitting a behavior. <laughs> uh, you have to be specific with kids, especially early on, and explain to them, uh, how, do, uh, how do I want you to act? Like use Describe your inside, it to use them. your inside voice. <laughs> I always hear parents say that, Becky, use your inside voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so you want to define what is uh, proper behavior according to your parenting rules. And, and the kid guidelines. feels more secure, right? Yeah, you said that's, that's what you said. That they crave yeah. it, and they actually they're actually more secure with the with the with the structure. Then not with this. Then they, when you don't have structure, it's very insecure. And especially if you're ambivalent, where sometimes you let them get away with it, and other times you don't. It becomes this. Um, the child becomes very insecure of what's right and wrong, and where are the rules? Yes, um, and and it's counterintuitive because, like you say, the the kid often resists the the boundary setting, but. At the same time, it helps them feel more secure, or, mm. uh, more sure of themselves, because they they understand. Okay, the parent is driving; they're in control. 